Seven minutes. Okay. I can see. No. <laughs> Jordy, are you ready? I'm ready. Right, well, audience, are you ready? Yeah. yeah. All right, Jordy. In three, two, one, begin. I am not a shapist. I consider myself a curve enthusiast, a roundie. Some of my best friends are flatties. My flatty friends believe that flat should be on an equal place in the grand scheme of things, but I don't. And if you're a flatty, my only hope is that I will help change your mind tonight. As a roundy, I've, I've said some things that I regret over the years, but I'm older now. Tonight I'm going to take a different approach. Tonight I'm not going to repeat the past. Okay? I'm not a bonery 10th grader in high school anymore, and you're not that hot, nerdy, new wave chick who just moved here from Los Angeles. I didn't stay up all night plagiarizing Encyclopedia Britannica just to impress you with cool facts about Archimedes and the Egyptians. No, not tonight. And I'm not a freshman in college anymore. Okay? I'm not going to take ecstasy and ramble on about the galaxies, or the, <laughs> the galaxy celestial bodies while I'm groping yours. I won't pretend to be fascinated by the elliptical orbits of astronomy and how it's all part of the grand schema of our big wad universe. Yep. I have read The Roundy's Guide to Getting Laid and Influencing Others. It's a good book. But you don't have to worry about me coaxing you into, me, in, into believing that I'm this deep, round thinker. So you'll want to take me back to your roommate's bathroom and do me. I'm not going to point out how beautiful our, and smart our imaginary round-headed children will be. I'm not going to make you consider my spermic worth tonight. No, nope, not tonight. And lastly, I'm not going to use neuro-linguistic programming to slip in suggestive phrases like, do you find yourself coming over and over again? To the same simple conclusion that flat sucks and round is awesome? No, tonight I'm ditching all of that. Tonight I'm ditching the facty, sciencey, mathy, brainy, washy foreplay in lieu of something else. No, I'm going to do something that speaks to you as human beings. Dick jokes. <laughs> Therefore, my entire position tonight can be boiled down to one simple argument. Cocks are round. You like cocks. Therefore, you love round. That's it. When's the last time you, you heard of anybody ending up in the emergency room with an ATM card stuck in their anus or their vagina? Never. It never happens. You don't put flat things in there. Pleasure comes from round things. Dildos, vibrators, butt plugs, the occasional light bulb. All of them are round. There isn't a woman or a man in this room with a dildo shaped like a muni fast pass. And if there is, you're just sick. Rounders, greatest movie ever made. Flatliners, shittiest film ever made. I mean, in one of them, in Rounders, you have Matt Damon versus John Malkovich. You've got Goodwill Hunting versus the Vicomte de Valmont from Dangerous Liaisons in a battle of wits and deception. In the other one, you got the fat guy from the West Wing guarding Julia Roberts' dead, cold, gray lips. Who the fuck thought that was a good idea? <laughs> but I digress. <laughs> when you get turned on by household items, and we all do from time to time, sometimes it's a spatula. They're good for spanking, flat has its place in society. I freely admit that. I said that at the very beginning. Flat can be good at foreplay, just like a lesbian who's experimenting with being straight. But when you want to ratchet it up a notch, take it to the next level. You don't think about putting the spatula, spatula's flat end in there. No woman wants a spatu vag. Spatu vag. Nice mental image. My flatty friends always say, oh, it feels great. But I don't care how flexible that plastic is. It just can't be comfortable. Okay. So when it's time to ratchet it up, we all go to the fruit drawer in the fridge when it's filled with nice round objects that can fill our desires. Come on, admit it. All of you, we're in a safe place. It's a bar. Come on. Look at the person to your left. Go ahead. Okay, look at the person to your right. 
Okay, mathematic odds are that one of them have put a round food group in their asses at some point in their lifetime. It's not a fact. I said I wasn't going to do facts. It's just an educated hunch. Okay, so I say great. Go to the fruit drawer, pick a roundy, be sure and compost when you're done, do your part. Guys, I'm speaking to the guys now. Guys, rulers are for measuring, not for pleasuring. Okay? Men, men, round is your testicles. Round is your hard-earned beer bellies. You can't even spell penis without pie. It's in the very fabric of the word. <laughs> Ladies, women, now I'm talking to you. Round is your eyes, your areolas, your tender underside of your breasts. Round is your lips, your smiles, the amazing ass you have. Be proud it's round. Don't hide it under mom jeans. I believe it was the famous English philosopher Circumference or Sir Mix-a-Lot that said, so ladies, when the butt is round and you want a triple X throwdown, dial 1-900-MIX-A-LOT and kick them nasty thoughts. So kick those nasty thoughts. But most importantly, lady, ladies, <laughs> round is your clitoris. Your clitoris nubbin. The clitoris, the smallest little roundy, but the most important roundy. Who cares about how many days it takes to orbit Jupiter around the sun? What matters is how many days someone can orbit their tongue around your center of the universe. Am I right? But what if the clitoris was flat? Do you know how hard it would be to find? Flatties are always saying clitorises would still have a slight discolored area. Come on, flatties. I don't want to have to wear a goddamn miner's hat when I'm doing my signature move, the scarlet hook. So now if you still think, yeah. All right. I may say some things I regret here tonight, like spatchy badge, but you must admit that I have a compelling argument. Flat just results in hard to explain medical bills and DVDs you'll never watch again. Flat is a tapeworm, stealing your life giving nutrients, looting you of your roundness. Flat is a.